Hi, everybody. We're just waiting for the room to get set up. I believe we're live now. Welcome, everybody. We are. Welcome from Germany. Hello from America. Uh, we're just making sure that everybody has a moment to get into the room. So, uh, great. All right. It looks like the live broadcast is running. Confirmed. All right. Oh, 47, 47 people are interested in Bellows. Awesome. My goodness. That's great. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. We appreciate you. This is a this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna talk about making small things bigger. So Martin, um, today, by popular demand, we crafted a webinar program just for our attendees on the topic of on the topic of adapters for uh, Novoflex Bellows for the Bell Pro and Bell uh, Bellows. I'm so excited. Uh, I just I just got a, a set of bellows within the last month or two, and I, I've been having so much fun using them. I hope to I hope to show everybody what I have later. But you have more important things to talk about than how happy I am with the bellows. So um, you put together a wonderful presentation. Uh, exactly. I think I think we have a lot of people that have shown up. I just wanted to make sure that uh, enough people have come in and they feel happy that they're here. Sound good. Uh, so we have Toronto, Southern Ohio. Antonio, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce where you're from. I apologize. We have Florida. Everybody's checking in in the chat. Thank you so much. We have Phoenix um, and Maryland and New York City and Mesa, Arizona. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. This is for you. We're going to thanks, start. Thanks for your interest. Yeah. Shall All we right. wait for, for another minute for people to arrive? Well, let's see. Uh, let's, have, let's ask a question of the chat room while we're waiting. What is the best thing you've heard today? Drop your comments in the chat. We'd love to hear about it. Me, the best thing I heard was that I got to have a webinar with Martin. I know it sounds cheesy, but I really look forward to these. So, Martin, what's and the it's best always thing fun. It's always fun. And the best thing I've heard today, um, I think for me, it was the webinar as well. Um, the first thing when I woke up this morning was uh, looking in my calendar <laughs> and I saw this webinar coming up. <laughs> so, it's. I think it's. It, it's always a good thing. It's always fun to work with you, Matt. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Martin. Same. Same to you too. And and Brenda, you're too kind. <laughs> all right so we have the netherlands in here also we have a global audience fantastic all right without further ado we're going to begin i just want to say to everybody don't worry if you miss anything have fun listening and participating this is being recorded and afterwards in about a day you're going to get an email said to you that has a link for a replay of the webinar. And we are also going to post it up on YouTube so even more people can see it. But you are the ones that chose to be here today and you are the ones that will have all of your questions answered. So thank you for being here. Let's start the presentation. All right, give me one second to get the screen share going. And we'll start this. All right. Okay, so... Um... Do you do you want to say something before we start, Matt? Sure. Uh, I've I've I personally have been using cameras that have bellows in between the lens and the body for nearly all of my photographic career. So I'm no stranger to this. There might be photographers these days who have never used bellows and might feel uncomfortable with the thought of there not just being a lens barrel between connected to their camera body. There's no reason to feel uncomfortable. This is how photography started. Uh, and it is still a viable way to make superior images specifically for macro right now we're talking about. So uh, I'm gonna put you in the, the comfortable and caring hands of Martin so that he can lead us through what Novaflex Bellows can do for us. 
Okay, so uh, hello from Germany again. Um, by popular demand, as Matt pointed out, um, we're doing this webinar today because in the last webinar, uh, we got so many questions. Hey, um, I have a Novaflex Bellows or I plan to buy a Novaflex Bellows in the near future. Um, will my camera fit or what Bellows uh, should I choose? Or I have this flat field lens or a certain medium format lens that I want to attach to my Bellows. Uh, is this possible at all? And uh, we're going to uh, demystify the Bellows adapter system together. So um, let's go on. Okay. okay, next slide. So that's us again. Hi, I'm Matt. This is a Martin with us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we, we have a poll. We want to drop in and, and ask you guys a question real quick. Um, sorry, I have to change the screen share here. I would like to know how many people here have ever used a bellows unit from there we go no flex before right so now all i need to do is hit play again on the right hand side please let us know we'd love to know all right and while that is happening we're going to keep going okay here's what we'll cover today um next matt Got it. Uh, we will have a full demonstration of all the Novaflex universal bellows because Novaflex is doing uh, universal bellows only, which are the Bell F bellows, the Bell Pro One, and the Bell Pro TS, which features uh, tilt shift uh, on both standards, the rear and the front standard. We will have a full demonstration of the adapter system. So by the end of this webinar, you will know what's possible and what's not. Uh, we will let you know what camera bodies are compatible. We will let, let you know what lens, uh, uh, what lenses are compatible with the bellows. We will uh, show you of how to combine a retro reversing ring uh, with our bellows to make it possible or to let your camera uh, um, talk to your lens. And um, right after that, we will have a, a question and answer session and let's jump right into it. So the question is, is it really that complicated? We get this question a lot and the basic answer is, no, it's no. not. It's, it's not that complicated, even so that this system chart seems, seems to be complicated. We're going to de demystify the whole system. We're going to demystify all the rings and adapters and stuff that's available from Novaflex for all the macro photographers. I'll just add this one thing. It's not complicated. It's German. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the answer is no, it is not that complicated. So uh, let's start with the um, with the smallest universal bellows we have. It's called the Bell F bellows. And I have it here. So it's really it's a tiny bellows. It's a very small bellows. Um, as you can see here, it's not that big at all. It's uh, very compact. It uh, fits in every camera pocket. And um, it is your, your, the bellow you can have with you even when you're on the go. Okay. Okay, next. Compact pocket size bellows for everyday macro work. And we will have the dimensions on this uh, slide. So it's four inches iron 5.7 inches wide has a basic diameter for the adapters of 1.9 inches so it's it is compatible with uh, micro for search cameras it is compatible with APS-C size cameras all the way up to 35 millimeter full frame cameras and lenses so that's uh, the most compact bellows we offer to date So here's a list of um, cameras that are compatible. Next. So it's basically um, all the, um, the DSLR cameras from Canon EOS, uh, from Pentax and Nik Nikon and Sony. And beyond that, um, all the uh, mirrorless, digital mirrorless cameras uh, from Fuji, Leica, um, Olympus, Panasonic, uh, uh, Sigma, are also compatible with this bellows. Next. 
So which lenses um, beyond um, the uh, camera connections that are compatible, um, there's a whole lot more of lenses compatible. We even have um, fully manual lenses that are compatible. So Canon FD, we can see Contax Yashica. We have adapters for flat field lenses with Copal Zero thread. So if you happen to have these lenses sitting on a shelf somewhere collecting dust, just uh, bring them out and connect them to your bellows. Uh, it's, a, it's an easy and inexpensive way to dive even deeper into macro photography. Um, if you happen to have Leica M lenses or um, old screw mount lenses with M39 thread, just uh, take them off your shelf and uh, start going to use them. Um, the M42 by one thread, uh, which is uh, colloquially known as the Pentax thread or the Pentacon thread, just connect them to your bellows. Um, if you, if you happen to own microscope lenses with an RMS thread, they are compatible as well. Old Minolta lenses, Olympus OM. So there's uh, all kinds of lenses that can be connected to this bellows. So it's, it's that easy. Okay, so next slide. And what about medium format and tilt shift lenses, you may ask? Well, um, as you saw this bellows, it's it's a rather compact bellows um, and it's too compact and too small and too tiny for um, medium format uh, lenses and large format lenses. And to a company uh, to use these lenses, we offer um, some bigger universal bellows, which are the Belpro One. And if you want to use tilt and shift, it's the Bell Pro TS. And if we compare the um, Bulb F and the Bell Pro 1, you can see the uh, difference in size. So it's a, it's a much bigger bellows, but which all offers all the possibilities of uh, connecting your um, 35 millimeter uh, camera, your medium format camera, and if you um, are one of the lucky uh, photographers who owns a digital medium format back, you may even want to add uh, the back directly to this bellows as well. Okay. Oh, that's exciting. So, so next slide. Okay, it says here, it's the compact studio camera with almost endless possibilities. So everything's possible with the Bell Pro. And we're giving the dimensions here on this slide. So it's uh, six inches high for the Bell Pro One and compared to 7.4 inches for the Bell Pro TS. And you see the rail is much longer than that of the Ball F with 7.8 inches. And as we can see here, its diameter is much wider to allow us to use um, medium format lenses, which have um, a much bigger image circle compared to um, the 35 millimeter lenses and all the MFT lenses or APC size lenses, which are which are also compatible, but which you may want to use with this much smaller Bell F bellows. Awesome. So question for you, uh, Matt, what, yeah. what bellows are you using? What Novaflex bellows? Can you show us this bellows? So that's that's one of the smaller bellows. That's yep. a ball F combined with um, an auto reversing ring for your Nikon Nikon Z6. Yep. And okay. the yeah the FTZ adapter and a 150 millimeter Irix macro lens. Yep. And the Irix macro lens is connected via the original FTZ adapter, I suppose. Correct. Yep. That's an F mount lens with the FTZ adapter mounted to the oh the Nikon Z uh, macro reversing ring. Makes sense. Yep. Okay. So um, we, we've talked a lot about bellows. Uh, we've talked about uh, a lot about the differences between uh, the more compact Bell F bellows and the uh, Bell Pro bellows. Um, I think it's time that we uh, jump right into all the adapters and all the rings and everything that we need to attach all the lenses. Okay, what cameras are compatible with the Bell Pro? You can see here Canon EOS, EOS R, uh, the Fujifilm GFX. Some of you 
may use um, the Fujifilm GFX, which is um, quite an affordable medium format digital camera. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, In fact, it, I know a couple it, of people that use it. Yes, Alan, is, I think Alan is using one yes, of these cameras. Yep. Right. OK, Hasselblad V and Hasselblad X, um, which are also two of, well, the Hasselblad uh, X mount camera, X Pro One, uh, might be an affordable camera, V not so, but uh, some of uh, you people may use one of the Hasselblad V cameras with a digital bag, who knows, uh, Leica M and S, uh, Mamiya 645 and Phase 1 XF. So um, if you happen to have one of these cameras, it's compatible via a Mamiya 645 adapter, or you can even directly attach um, your digital back via a combination of two adapters, um, which uh, a company called Alpa of Switzerland is providing for our bellows. Okay, and uh, even, we do even spot a Pentax 645 in this uh, table here. So that's also compatible with the Bell Pro Bellows. Okay, what well, lenses are compatible? The list is even longer. So all the uh, lenses that can be manually stopped down, Canon FD as well, Contax Ashika, flat field lenses, wow. um, Hasselblad wow. V lenses, Mamiya 645. Uh, even Pentax six by seven lenses can be connected to this bellows. So it's so cool. It's 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 a big. It's an enormous world of uh, possibilities that awaits you. So this bellows speaks all languages. It does. It's it does. a polyglot. Yeah. It's a polyglot. <laughs> it's multilingual. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Amazing. That's so cool. And there's one other trick up its sleeve, right? Yes, um, uh, some of you may have heard of the Roly Exact uh, studio camera. Belpro and Roly Exact cameras are inter uh, adapters are interchangeable, and that's uh, because Novaflex used to make these cameras for Roly. So that's uh, the interesting fact behind this. Awesome, awesome. So tell me, how does this adapter system work? So. We'll cover this for the Bellof only because it's pretty similar to for the Belpro series. And we've uh, on the next uh, few slides, we've added some graphics to better explain how the whole system works. Okay, this is, let's... This is, this is the fun part, folks. If you were <laughs> sitting here saying, this is too much information, how am I ever gonna make sense of this? This is where it all comes together. Martin's gonna walk you through the the main component and all of the other pieces that could fit onto it and how to search for the right things if you're kidding out your particular situation. So stay with us. Okay, so let's start. Just hit enter. So we start with the tiny ball F bellows. And as you can see, it does not come with any particular adapters by default. So um, if we want to attach um, lenses that can be manually stopped down, um, we do need a couple of adapters on the front. Uh, the first one uh, being called the um, flex lie adapter, which goes directly into the front standard and which converts the front standard to like a thread mount. LTM or otherwise known as M39 okay. mount. Okay. So the next adapter that we need to attach a lens um, is an adapter that converts the M39 thread mount to a certain bayonet mount. Just hit, hit enter again. Mm -hmm. So it does look like one of these. So it screws right into the first adapter. Just like this. So now, for example, with this particular combination, we are able to attach a Nikon F-mount lens to this uh, bellows. But we could also would also be able to attach 
Canon FD mount lenses, M42 lenses, Contax Ashika lenses, Leica M lenses, because there's different adapters available by these order codes that you can see in the uh, table that's on, on the left. Right. So um, the order code is always a combination of lie, which denotes the Leica thread mount, and um, the LEI. second part. Yeah, just to be clear. LEI. Yeah, exactly. You're pronouncing LEI, it but it's LEI. Yeah. Yes, LEI. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a prefix. The German pronunciation. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a prefix. <laughs> and the second part uh, denotes um, the bayonet mount that uh, this particular adapter is going to convert to. So mm -hmm. CAN is Canon FD, CO is M42, CONT is Context Ashika, uh, uh, MIK is Microscope or RMS thread, PEND is PEDX K, and so on. Got so it. it's basically, it's always a combination of um, two, two syllables. So in this case, it's Lycon, Lyco, and so on. So the bellows mount is Flex LEI. Yes. And then you connect to the Flex LEI any adapter that starts with LEI and matches your lens mount. Exactly. So LI always connects to LI. Got it. Does that make sense? Perfect. Okay. Yep. OK, so if you hit Enter, there comes the lens. And so it's the lens fits into the LEI. LEI. OK, cool. Correctly. In this case, it's an it would be an LEI NIK for mm -hmm. Nikon F. Very cool. Okay. Okay. So on the rear standard, the first adapter has the auto, goes by the auto code A flex, and the A flex looks like this. Oops. Looks like sure. this. It's basically um, the intermediate adapter that converts the Bellows rear standard to Novoflex's own proprietary bayonet mount. It's basically, it is a breech lock mount. And um, we used to call it the Novoflex A mount. That's why it has the, goes by the name A. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's an adapter that goes from A to flex. Okay. Okay. Coming up. So, and the next adapter, which is the camera adapter, for example, has the auto code NIC A for an adapter that would allow you to attach a Nikon camera to Novoflex's A mount. And there's a list coming up. We can see it here on the right. So the second part of the Novoflex coding is always the, always ends in an A. So it's CAN A, EOS M A, EOS R A, Fuchs A, and so on. Makes perfect sense. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, and uh, on a short side note, we're using this particular. A mount, this uh, Novoflex's proprietary mount since 1965. So if if you're into analog photography and you happen to have an old camera and one of these adapters from back in the days, it is still compatible to this brand new bellows. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So that's why we basically call this a, well, I do not want to say Lego, but it's a, it's a giant building block system that's compatible through time. That's amazing <laughs> that how you can and forward. mix and match imaging systems with optics. It's, it's really, really yeah. amazing. Exactly. So, so uh, these adapters are necessary if uh, we want to combine a brand new camera or even an older analog camera with lenses uh, that you can manually stop down. That's that's very important, right? Could could you use an autofocus lens, a modern autofocus lens, wide open? Uh, well, you you could use, of course, you could use a modern autofocus lens, wide open, but uh, without the possibility of autofocus, of course. Got it. So you could still mm -hmm. use it that way. You're just limited. You cannot stop down the diaphragm, and you would have to manually focus the lens in addition to moving the bellows back and forth, right? Well, there's two exceptions, of course, two exceptions from this, this norm. 
uh, be, being the Nikon adapter and the um, Sony Amon adapter, because both of these adapters do have built-in aperture control, mm -hmm. which is a manual aperture control. For, um, so if you uh, want to use an Icon G lens, for example, which does not come with its own aperture control ring, but which still has manual aperture control built inside the lens, you will be able to manually open and close the aperture with this adapter. Cool. Does this make sense? Yes, it does. Awesome. All right. What's next? OK, next slide. I don't see that 90 millimeter Schneider lens that you guys offer. That was correct. We created a separate slide for this uh, Schneider flat field lens that we offer here. OK. Because the Schneider 90 millimeter APO Schneider that we offer um, comes with a lens hood and the necessary adapter, it, it is already attached to the lens by us. So it get directly attaches to the front, front standard. So there's no need for you to buy or to purchase a separate adapter. It's ready to mount on the Bell F bellows. Correct. Correct. Got it. Okay. Great. And so, and this this one goes by the order code Flex Apo Digi ninety. And if you happen to have um, other flat field lenses uh, which connect with the Copal Zero thread, um, the this adapt this particular adapter is also available separately. Of course. All right. Cool. So. What if I can't stop my lenses down manually? Uh, we also have um, a solution for this. So, uh, there's three adapters that are needed to allow this. It's an intermediate adapter that goes from the bellows front standard to 58 millimeter filter thread in the front. And the same goes in the back. It's a 58 millimeter. OK. Yes, it's a 58 millimeter filter thread. Flex retro and retro flex. Mm -hmm. I see what you guys are doing here. You're putting your order codes in a particular order. So let me just assemble this very quickly for you guys. I'm going to. I'm going to pop out of the, the show here and turn on Martin's screen. So it's, it's that easy. It's just combining three different adapters. And now we are ready to use a Canon EOS R camera with a Canon EOS R lens. And this is possible for not only Canon EOS R, but also for Canon EOS, for Fujifilm X, for Micro Four Thirds, for Sony E, for Nikon Z. So it's, it's quite easy, actually. Awesome. All right. So here we go. Let's go back to our simple explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have a question in the chat. That we will explain later. All right, so here's a fully articulated lens system exploded out. Exactly, and that's that's the wire that connects uh, the front mount to the back mount and that transfers the entire communication back and forth. 
All right. So unless it, your unless your camera talk to your lens and back. So the retro adapter has the the nomenclature goes this way. You have the camera and then dash retro for choosing that adapter. And you have a flex retro in the front and a retro flex adapter in the back. Correct. Because the standards both have the auto have the auto code flex. Mm -hmm. So the adapter always needs to connect to that flex. Got it. Okay. Great. Next slide. And let's switch to the Balpro bellows uh, because that's the bellows that would allow us to uh, combine medium format lenses and medium format cameras. Um, and these uh, lenses and cameras, because of their um, yeah, bigger image circle, they uh, require bigger adapters, of course, and they only require just just one adapter to, and then they directly go to to the front and rear standards. So there's no need no need to combine two adapters uh, with that combination. Seems a lot simpler. It is. It is. Yeah. But but keep in mind that. Uh, the Pro, Bell Pro Bellows does not only allow us to, to um, add medium format lenses and medium format cameras, but also all the, the smallest stuff as well. Gotcha. So you can use a, a smaller image circle lens on a larger sensor should you want to. Exactly. Okay. So the spacer tube, what's that for? Um, so if your camera is um, a very big camera or if your um, yeah if your camera's hand grip or whatever if your camera's battery grip would otherwise collide with the rear standard um, you could uh, add a spacer tube in between the camera adapter and um, the bellows rear standard to allow the camera to be mounted successfully i assume by the name it's 25 millimeters deep exactly that's what it is. Uh, you could also use it if you wanted a little bit more extension too, right? Yep, you can. You can even stack two of them. There's also a, um, one that has a, a depth of 50 millimeters as well. Wow. Very cool. All right. So let's take a little break and check in with everybody. Let's see if there's anything that we want to talk about in here so john asked flex to pentax is that possible pentax k uh he didn't specify so we can well it's 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 certainly possible to um attach a pentax k camera to a ball flex absolutely but not okay. a pentax 645 if you happen to have pentax 645 you would want to use a bell probellus instead Okay, so we have lost Matt. No, Matt's here. Sorry about Matt's that. Matt's here. A little okay. Pick up. So, there we go. So I'm back. Okay, what what other questions do we have? Um, I don't have that right now. I think we should pop over and just do a quick little check in with everybody. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see how many people. Are willing to share how often you make macro photography so we have that poll posted right now and while you guys give us your answers we're going to pop back in and see what's next on this presentation all right so this has been very detailed right so you're here to offer a breath of fresh air and tell people that there's easier ways to configure these because you have kits right exactly we happen to have kits so there's um seven auto bellows kits that we have pre-configured so for all the mirrorless system cameras and the canon ears uh system we we offer pre-configured kits that consists of the um ball f bellows the two uh, intermediate adapters and the auto reversing ring and if you if you're into um, the bigger systems like the Belpro One or the uh, Belpro TS, we also offer some kits that 
come with a ProLi and um, the uh, Novoflex A-mount adapter in it. So you only have to add a certain camera and lens adapter to it. Got it. That sounds mm -hmm. fun. Like my, my Nikon Z kit was just a one box solution like you have in the upper left-hand corner there. Yep. Awesome. All right. Well, if this is something you guys want to take a screenshot of right now, fantastic. Otherwise, you're going to get access to this presentation. And now one of my favorite parts is coming up. Demo time. Demo, demo time. Exactly. Martin, can you show us some of these examples? I would love to see more real time. I'm going to maximize okay. the screen so I can see this. Okay, um, some of you uh, guys were asking um, or, or wanted to see me attach, um, for example, a, a medium format lens um, to this bellows. It's uh, actually quite easy. Um, I have here um, an old, uh, an adapter for old Hasselblad V lenses. So it's just this one adapter. Um, it directly goes in the front. It attaches like this. We uh, just tighten it down by these two blue screws here. And the oh, red dot is here. Beautiful old Hasi lens. Exactly. Just align it. And let's attach a Canon ESR camera. Just attach this Novoflex A mount adapter to it. That's the camera adapter. It goes right into here. And the camera attaches. Now, I just want to point right. out something. Right, right, do the camera. While you were putting this together, it, it became. It just it just screamed something to me, which we haven't said once yet. But um, the the engineering of these adapters is so extraordinary. Uh, I, I I'm saying it because I'm I'm watching this as somebody who uses photographic tools for decades now, and I look at this, I listen to how they connect, I see how firmly they connect, and I'm like, wow, these these are just machined so well, and. Thank you for doing it so well. Yeah. Well, it's it's our pleasure, and it's uh, it's fun to to play with these tools. Um, right. So every one of you guys out there who uh, happen to have one of these bellows and knows what we what the two of us are talking about. Yeah. And we hope to convince uh, some more of you to to play with with macro and and these bellows. Um, some people of you were asking to. Um, to see uh, the Valpro TS and what it's capable of. So we we have um, tilt shift on both um, the front and the rear standard. So it's um, a 15 degree uh, tilt to, to either side on both standards. And we have the possibility of A shift to either side and if you want to use this in uh, product photography for example to uh, extend your depths of field you all you have to do is just add an out bracket and turn it by 90 degrees and now you can further extend uh, the depths of field in your product photography so it's it's a it's a very it's, it's a fun tool to play with and also, if you need uh, an extended depth of field in your macro images, it's it's a cool cool tool as well. I love it. I love it. And we're having some people ask us uh, if we can show some examples of macro photography. Um, thank you. That's a great note, everybody. Um, while Martin uh, puts together some of the some more of the configurations here, I'm going to see if we can pull up some of those so we can share them with you. Of course, you're photographers. You want to see photos. I get it. So give us a moment here. Uh, Martin, what other configurations do you have there? The, the picture that you shared before the webinar showed a table full of tools. 
I mean, you've, you've got a to table, have some more. A, a, a table full of tools. Well, it's yeah. it's it's it is basically adapters um, because this 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 webinar was intended to explain the technique behind the whole Velo systems that what we uh, got from you guys in the last webinar. Um, so excuse us if we don't have like example images uh, for this webinar, but. Um, uh, the table uh, full of pictures I have here is uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a fun thing. Well, um, there's there, there's of course more to to Bellos photography than just um, adapters. We have um, more fun accessories uh, which I can show, show you. Um, hold on. I've got, I've got so I, I will I will share my screen for a little bit. Um, please, please please do. I have some things to share with you guys. There we go. So in in this stack, I have some things. These are some stacks that I've done. Um, let me get rid of that. These are stacks that I did of my old uh, Zeiss EcoFlex, the focusing knob. So it has some, some real leather on it and lots of wear from usage from my grandfather and I using the camera. Um, and this was, I think, about 40 images stacked that I made this image with the bellows and a stacking combination. Um, and there's just one of the slices of that image there. Um, and here's, here's one picture from photographing a detailed knife that I have. And this is the entire stack. So you go from a really narrow, narrow, narrow slice of focus to stacking about 70 images to get this uh, really sharp image of what is a very close detail, the end of a knife. Um, this is, these were me just sort of playing around and this is a harmonica uh, and a close up detail of that. And you can see that, you know, the harmonica has been sitting around for a while because there's, there's just a hair sitting inside of it and some fuzz there. So it's, uh, it's sometimes scary what you discover when you go macro because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Um, and I have some other examples in here. As soon as my Lightroom stops doing all this. And these are definitely done with the, the bellows that I showed you guys before. Um, just picking some wildflowers outside and you know just playing and here's actually some from our our shoot that we did where we were while we were making the video we were using the bellows to make some of these images and one of these there's your Leica dial there and let's see what other interesting this is twine this is a close-up of twine that you would use to sort of wrap up paper boxes Exploring another world here. Uh, some leaves that we found outside. And that's a stack that we're running through. Just a tiny stack. A leaf. Oh, and there's a little, a little bug on there. I think we found it in your garden, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. And let's see. Here's some more. Hey. Hey, there's an interesting question Roger Roger asks in the chat. Why would any company that wants to sell bellows ignore the 100 million lenses sold in Nikon F's lens mount? Uh, well, honestly, we don't ignore the lenses sold in Nikon F mount because we do actually do have a manual lens adapter for uh, the Nikon F mount, which lets you use... Um, all your Nikon lenses all the way up to a, a Nikon G type lens, which features manual aperture control. Well, in a in sort of a way, it doesn't actually come with uh, with its own aperture control ring anymore. But uh, hold on, but this adapter here that comes with the blue ring lets you um, open and close the aperture of these lenses steplessly. So the only Nikon lenses that can be used as of today are Nikon E-type lenses, which feature an electromagnetic aperture control. So these are the only Nikon lenses that can't be used. And um, 
Actually, we're currently working to solve this problem. So in the not so distant future, we will definitely have an auto balance for Nikon E-type e lenses as well. And you can keep this as a promise. Awesome. So yeah. I, uh, Roger, Roger, I hope this answers your question. And thank you for asking, Roger. I appreciate it. So I have, um, I have, are, are there's there more? Uh, Go yeah, ahead. there's another interest, interesting question. Why don't the camera manufacturers make bellows anymore? Asked by Chris Moore. Well, uh, honestly, um, bellows are a niche product. We have to admit that. And um, I think it's not feasible for them anymore. It doesn't uh, generate enough money for camera manufacturers anymore, but uh, we like what, what we do and we're, we have fun in what we're doing. And Bellows is such a great tool in not only macro photography, but product photography as well. So we believe in Bellows. And that's a very honest answer, I, I suppose. Uh, let's see some actual usage and sample images. Matt had this a few minutes ago. I might be able to play a video of what it looks like uh, through through there. Let's see if we have that video uploaded right now. I can, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna play a quick video. It's got no sound, and you may hear us talking behind it. Um, this is what it looks like through my camera. So. Oh, it's got fun music. <laughs> but this is what it looks like through the camera. And this is with me using the autofocus sometimes and breathing in and out. I'm saying the lens is breathing as I stop down and open up. So I know that's quick, but that's what it looks like actually through the viewfinder of the Nikon Z. I hope that helps you guys. And there's another interesting question by Chris Moore here. Does the retro adapter cable system work with Nikon F and not just the Nikon Z? Nikon F is not listed. Uh, well, as I just explained, we're currently working on a auto bellows for Nikon F only. Um, as of now, if you want to use Nikon F lenses uh, on a Nikon F mount camera, you may want to choose uh, the manual possibilities that we explained in uh, the previous slides. But if you happen to have a Nikon Z, you can uh, attach a Nikon F mount lens by means of the original FTC adapter, as Matt is doing with his Irix lens. Yep. Matt, can you just show your setup again? Sure. I'll bring it close. So there's the body, and here's the, the retro adapter coming across, and the bellows. And there's the FTC adapter. And then there's the, the IRIX macro lens. And I'll pull back just to show you. There it is. I feel like we, you know, you know, like how people used to pose with their cameras like this. <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, it's very satisfying to make macro with this setup. And this is what it looks like compressed. So you can see just how small those bellows get. It's not much bigger. You know, it only adds that much to the setup. Okay, there's another interesting question by Ken Krebs. What are advantages of a bellows systems over a macro lens? Uh, well, that's, that's a really good question. Um, well, most uh, macro lenses uh, will give you uh, a one-to-one -one magnif one -on -one magnification, but not more. And the bellows adds extension in between your camera and your lens, and in it will give you higher magnification, well beyond one to one. It's a great question. Yeah. Oh, Florencia wants to know what the the ratio is with my setup. Um, well, the the Irix lens goes to one to one without it, and then uh, we may have to look in and to calculate that. I think I can get uh, three or four to one with the bellows when I add them in, so. Yeah. Exactly, it, it always depends on the lens. Yeah, because it's a 150 millimeter focal length. It's unusual as macro lenses go. They're usually, I don't know, like 65 to like 
100, 120 sometimes. This this 150 macro lens I enjoy using specifically because it leaves more space between the end of the objective and your, your subject. So Exactly. So yeah. it, it helps you in lighting the subject properly. Yep. Okay. Shall we go back to uh, the presentation? Sure. What we have left now um, really is uh, we have a poll. We want to ask you guys one more poll. Um, just curious if any of you uh, currently own NovaFlex Bellows. And we have some commonly asked questions that we're going to walk through right now. So just going to make that bigger so that I can see the rest of this going on at the same time. Okay, what else do I need for, for my bellows work? Well, uh, we, of course, we recommend to add a focusing rail uh, to any bellows setup because, um, yeah, the, the, the bellows front and rear standards uh, that run on the, on the rail um, are usually used to uh, define the magnification factor. And if you do not want to change the magnification factor, you need a separate rail underneath, which uh, looks like this. It just adds to the bellows and it lets you move the entire bellows back and forth, setting the focus without, without having to change the magnification factor at all. So a, a focus rail, uh, is something that we would definitely recommend buying when you are out and about to purchase a bellows at all. And we have a variety of uh, focusing rails for a variety of situations from fully mechanical to, to motorized and mechanized and programmable. All right, back to the FAQs. So the next FAQ that we have Can I use Can a I cam use camera built in? Yes, focus please, please go. On. Oh, I, I will. I will read. Can I use? Can I use focus? Yes, you can, of course. So if your camera offers this feature, you uh, can definitely use it even on the bellows. No problem at all. Can I duplicate slides with the help of one of our bellows? Of course, of course you can. Um, uh, we offer this little thing here, which we call a slide duplicator. It lets you add 35 millimeter slides all the way up to medium format slides, and it goes directly into our bellows like this. It just slides in here, and you can adjust oh, this wow. part here. and. It's a very easy and inexpensive way to digitize your slide collection. Now, the duplicator's been compatible with NovaFlex Bellows since when? Uh, since 1954, actually. So, it's, so if you happen to have one of the older NovaFlex Bellows from back in the days, it's uh, compatible with those as well. Awesome. All right. And back in. I have, can I use an existing auto reversing ring with one of your Bellow systems? Absolutely. So if you own one of our auto reversing rings, the ones for Canon EOS, EOS R, Nikon Z, MFT, Almond, Sony E, um, they are all compatible with the Ball F and the Bose and, and the two Bell Pro Bellows. Don't worry, you don't have to worry at all. There's, just two, two intermediate adapters necessary to uh, mount the auto reversing ring to the bellows. Fantastic. All right. And I think you have one more set of commonly asked questions. Why do you use letter coding instead of numbers for your product codes? I want to know the answer. Well, it's uh, it's actually quite easy, and it's uh, written on the slide. Um, in our opinion, a letter code better describes a certain product than a, a number could do. So, what what would one, two, three, four tell you instead? Right. So, um, for example, the as I explained this when we were talking about the NovaFlex proprietary mount, this is a NIC A adapter. So, it's a 
it, it, it tells you that this adapter connects a Nikon camera to uh, Novaflex's A mount, and it goes on with these uh, with uh, different examples. So it's for us, it's quite easy. It's a it's a living speaking thing. So that's why we use letter coding. So there's there's something wonderful that that we're going to share, and I don't know, maybe about two weeks. We've put all, all this work into explaining the systems for the webinar, but we're also going to have a systems chart that we're going to send to all of the webinar attendees. Um, and if you happen to be watching this on the replay, you leave us a comment. We'll make sure it gets to you, or there'll be a link to download it. Uh, but we're going to have a poster that you can zoom in on the PDF and be able to understand all of the the objects that you can use to connect all of the different lenses and cameras that you could have. Uh, and you can look forward to that. So that's the end of our, our our commonly asked questions. Now we want to go back into the chat and see what other questions you guys have left for us. Okay, what do we have here? Does Snowflex have any bellows with a built-in focusing rail like the Nikon PB4? Um, that's a good question. Uh, that's one that touches history because we used to have bellows with a built-in focusing rail, but we uh, don't do these anymore. When we switch to the Arca compatible rails, it was not um, well feasible to make this anymore. So um, we split up uh, the rail and the bellow system to make it easier for you to combine uh, certain bellows with a certain focusing rail. So that's the way we are pursuing right now. Okay. What are the advantages of the Novoflex over computerized rails with a one to five times life size lens? Uh, I don't think I get this question. Uh, who asked it? Maybe okay. you can ask them to ask it again. Yes. Uh, Ty, your lips come. Could you just uh, rephrase that question? Uh, and we're happy to answer that okay. later for you. Right. <laughs> Why do I need a bellows uh, when I can use a lens baby? <laughs> What's the bellows advantage? Well, um, a lens baby uh, sort of uh, gives, would give you the same results as you could achieve with the Balpro TS bellows, but the Balpro TS bellows, of course, is... Uh, uh, it's a much more complex thing and it lets you combine uh, cameras and lenses of different manufacturers while well, the lens baby is has it well it's a lens baby for example for Nikon or it's a lens baby for a Sony camera only and that's what it is but the uh, Balpro TS fellows gives you much more options in terms of macro and product photography focusing to infinity and uh, close-up for uh, photography at and things. I saw one in here. Uh, David asked, how important is a reversing ring? David, we just did a webinar about this, uh, and we can post a link to that here. Um, if you look on our YouTube channel, you see the replay of that. Um, I, I would say it really depends on what your needs are. Um, in short, a macro reversing ring is great if you want to take existing lenses and turn them into macro lenses by flipping them around. And if you want to have autofocus on the bellows, uh, like like I have here, if you want to have a, an electronic connection between the body and the lens, it's also essential there. But if you're using manually controlled lenses, it's not essential. Uh, but if you want autofocus and auto diaphragm with electronic lenses, you must use it. Is that fair? Okay. Fred is asking, what macro lens would you recommend to use with a Novaflex bellows and a Nikon camera? Um, well, generally speaking, um, all the macro lenses that Nikon offers uh, would be good to use together with the bellows to achieve higher magnification factors than the usual one-to-one -one magnification they are capable of. And depending on the subjects you're shooting, um, you would either choose a uh, shorter focal length or a longer focal length. So if, for example, you would want to shoot like insects or 
or uh, stuff that you would have to uh, have a greater distance to when taking photos off, um, a longer focal length would be better, of course. And if you want to use one of your existing kit lenses or zoom lenses, um, as a rule of thumb, you can say the shorter the focal length and the greater the extension of your bellows is, the higher the magnification you will achieve, or you will get as a result. Okay. I'm going to post a link right now while we're, we're asking this. If, if uh, anybody who is attending this is interested in talking to us more, about outfitting for a bellows kit. Um, we'd love to help you. So I'm gonna post a, a link here right now uh, that leads to a forum where you give us some basic information and we'll reach out to you and we'll work on helping you find the right solution. We wanna help you. That's why we're here. We're, we're doing this webinar. The system is comprehensive. It doesn't need to be confusing. We're trying to help you make sense of it, but we're ready to do it one-on-one -on -one with you. So just let us know you're interested and we will help, okay? Back to you, Martin. Okay, I'm. I think we covered most of the questions. I can see that my colleague Andreas was given replies to some of the questions while we were speaking or demystifying the adapter system. Thanks, Andreas, and thanks, Brenda. All right. Well, it's interesting. We with the the results of our our. Uh, poll indicate that many of you are interested in macro, but don't yet own one of the NovaFlex bellows. So um, I hope that those of you are indicated that you don't own bellows and want to learn more about it, do visit that link. Uh, we would love to talk with you. So, okay, there's just one last question this, that just came in. Yes, this minute. Um, Tayo is asking, I use a stack shot computerized rail with Canon's MPE 65, one to five times lens. So, well, um, the stack shot is, um, is also a motorized rail. It's a, it's a stepping motor driven uh, focusing rail as is the Castel Micro. And um, it is, it is certainly a good product as well, and it will uh, do its job fine with uh, the Canon MPE 65. Um, the Castel Micro, as uh, per my knowledge, uh, can do smaller step sizes as the stack shot is capable of. So if you're using uh, microscope lenses with magnifications of 30, 40, or 50 times life size, um, the stack shot isn't capable of uh, providing the step sizes uh, that uh, the Kessel Micro can do. There were two other things maybe we want to we want to talk about. Um, uh, Ed wanted to know if we're talking about the tilt shift bellows. Do you have one of those in front of you? We could do a quick sure. little demo. Sure. Um, that is the Belpro TS. That's the tilt shift bellows that we offer. It offers um, tilt and shift on both the rear and the front standard. So um, it's a good tool if you're into product photography or if you want to extend the depths of field in micro photography as well without having to use the stacking technique at all. Mm -hmm. So it's the uh, standard way of uh, adding an extended depth of field to your, to your images. Uh, we have one of our visitors also mentioned that the Castell Micro can do rear standard focus stacking too, which is good because it doesn't change the perspective. Uh, by moving exactly. the imaging sensor instead of the lens, you don't get lighting changes or perspective changes. So if that matters, exactly, but if that's, you're stacking hundreds of images, it's a big deal. So, But that's a different bellows. That's, uh, that bellows is called the Castell Pro bellows, which adds a bellows that directly connects to the rail of the Castell Micro. Not to be confused with the ones we're speaking about today, correct? Correct. Okay. All right. Um, and uh, Ruben asked, is there an, an advantage to using a zoom lens versus a fixed lens? On the bellows? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, using a zoom lens, uh, of course, gives you different focal lengths. So uh, it... Uh, gives you a wider variety of um, magnification factors that you can achieve with a certain um, 
extension of your bellows, of course, because you have uh, different focal lengths to choose from. Okay. All does right. Does that make sense? Yep. I, I think it does. And Ruben will let us know if it doesn't. Um, and I guess one last question. Tayo asked, do the NovaFlex bellows offer a great detail of images? Um, in short, the answer is absolutely yes. A lot of it depends on making sure that um, you achieve focus well. But the, the point of the, this is to use your optics to the best of their ability. So choosing the right lens and choosing the right camera body combination will increase your chances. If you use a lens that doesn't have great resolution, you're sort of crippling your in image sensor's ability to capture that. So if you're using like 40 year old glass and a brand new camera body, you have to match your expectations to what the imaging can provide for the imaging system. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, yeah, I think uh, this has been a wonderful webinar full of a lot of wonderful people. Um, we just want to let you know, we, we want to answer everybody's questions. If you keep asking them, we'll reach out to you. Um, and we will follow up. That's our promise to you. Um, and we'd really appreciate it if you guys could join us um, where we spend time creating content and spending time with you on the internet. Our YouTube, we'd love to have you subscribe because um, uh, we're, we're coming out with quality content on a regular basis. Our website is novaflexus.com. Uh, and on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash novaflex. Come join us and join the conversation. Um, all in all, we'd like to say thank you. Uh, thanks. Thank you for your time. Yeah. And thanks for being interested in macro photography. Yeah, we appreciate you, and we will see you next time. Uh, thanks so much, and be well. Bye.